This Larset place, anywhere near here? We should be able to reach it by evening if we leave immediately. Uh, you do realize we're running on no sleep, don't you? If I may, I think I know how to make the trip a deal safer. We employ Duma. Its powers of levitation should let us skirt any dangers. That true? Oh, we forget they are a bashful sort. How inconsiderate of us. and scenery are different on the return trip. Are you certain we are going in the correct direction? There is no need for concern. This is the way, I assure you. With nothing but dilapidated ruins as landmarks, even the most seasoned adventurers might get lost. Target sighted. Target sighted. Bored out of my mind over here. Sweet!
have yet to learn. of the ruins. southbound through this forest in order to reach Larset village, must we not? Yes. If we continue southeast from here, we should be near the place where we first met. Of course. Let us be off then.
We must pass through the forest to reach Larset village. Time offers us no respite. I know. I'll be quick about it. We have destroyed! Destroy! The jump on him! Warning threat is not neutralized. Not with my promise left unfulfilled. Sweet! Rep should be just a little ways more than Let me call my brother real quick before we head out. Antonio, do you read me? Ray, loud and clear. Was anyone in the pod? Nope, just freight. It was one of the pods Elena ejected right before the Edis went down. Wait, she did the ejecting? Then... But I don't want to hear it, okay? As the ship's captain, I have to assume everyone on the crew's safe until accounted for, right? Yeah. Uh, for now, I'm gonna look for Chloe. And I'm gonna do it with the two from yesterday. Think you can trust them? Does it matter? I need them. But even if I didn't, they're reasonable people. Plus, they saved my life. That's enough for me. All right. I'm gonna try to get to you as fast as I can. Tell Dad not to lose any hair over it, will you? Too late. He already has over the fact that you called me for help and not him. <laughs> Parents, man. <laughs> hey, Ray. Before you go, let me talk with your two traveling companions. Hey, uh... Uh, my bro says he wants to talk with you guys. Uh, uh hello? Uh, yes? Uh, 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 yesterday I was pretty upset and said some pretty rude things to you. Apologies for not doing this face to face. I'd like to make a fresh start. My name is Antonio Lawrence, Raymond's older brother. Uh, Sir Antonio, my name is Leticia Asarius. And with me is... Uh, um, Albert Bergholm, sir. Miss Asarius, Mr. Bergholm. I'm sure Raymond here comes off as a strange and weird man. But please, look after my little brother for me. The Lawrence family comes from a long line of well-known merchants. We always pay our debts. Nothing to fear, sir. We shall do our utmost to ensure the safety of your brother. I appreciate it. Ray, try not to be too much of an annoyance to your new friends. Good luck. Over and out. You are loved. I wish, but nah, you just can't help treating me like a kid. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I can't wait to sleep in a bed. Let's get going. Agreed. Let us depart. Come on, let's make our way to that village. Right. Uh, Larset village is to the south. Weep! 
enemy is before us. I hear ya. Enemies up ahead. Let's go. Well aware. To destroy. This is all looking up. How was that? Nothing shall see us deterred. If we continue on our southward course, we should depart the forest. Excellent. The village is just beyond it then? Unfortunately not. It will take us some time to pass through the Larkus region. We are now entering the Larkus region. Come, let us continue to the south. Right, let's go. Much easier without all the trees, too. <laughs> Is the ideal turn for walking. Please! Destroy. Warning. Energy levels low. No threats detected. Your Highness, the village of Larset lies to our west. Can't wait to keep my feet up. Not bad. I second the lap. Come, let us be a fight. Where are you? Gotcha. Warning. Energy levels low. Insufficient. Warning. And perimeter secure. Set village is not far now. Made it at last. Don't you think we should hide that thing? Kinda makes us stand out. I 
do not think it an issue, as it closely resembles a Semiomancer's orb, such as the one over there. A Semiomancer's orb, huh? All right then. Besides, I would like to prioritize our lodgings. A nice rest will do us all some good. We have arrived. Anyone home? That's the kind of meal that makes you glad to be alive. All right, so, where do you want to begin? First, would you mind telling us whence you hail? If you thought I said some weird stuff before, brace yourself. I'm from another world, one that's far, far away in the sky. Another world, you say? Far away in the sky? You know, like how you can cross a mountain to get to another village, or the ocean to get to another continent. If you fly high enough, you can cross the sky and reach other worlds. Like the stars? Which star do you call home? Whoa now. One, it's a planet, not a star. Two, you can't see it from here. I've never heard something so asinine. Well, that's because people on planets like yours don't usually learn this for a couple hundred more years. Anyway, my job is to transport cargo between planets. And we now know, Duma was my cargo. My vessel, the Yetus, was attacked by another planet's battleship. And I was forced to flee here. Right now, I'm looking for a crew member, Chloe. Gotta be traipsing about here somewhere. Oddly lackadaisical way of describing being lost in an unknown land. She's got a good head on her shoulders. And she's great with languages. Roughing it a little won't bother her. And now, I'd like you to answer something for me. What's a princess doing sneaking around outside her castle? With only one bodyguard in tow? Because I too am looking for someone. Per my intelligence, at one point, he was seen entering the Madoom Ruins. Therefore, I have a proposition. In return for helping in your search for Chloe, I would like you to assist us in ours. Sure, but uh, I don't know how much help I'll be. I'm not even from here. The person we seek is hardly congenial, but he is inquisitive. Your presence will be more persuasive than any argument we can make. Sounds like I got my work cut out for me. Perhaps some further information would help. His name is Midas Felgreed. He was a former Meister, one of the three most accomplished Semiomancers in all of Asarius. really want to run around looking for a semiomancer. At the same time, I don't know anything about this planet, so I'm not gonna find Chloe on my own. What do you think? Yeah, finally get to a bed and I can't even sleep. Maybe a walk will tire me out. Hey, can't sleep either, huh? I am simply thinking. Do not try to curry favor with me. Hey, buddy, we're traveling companions. Stop button heads with me. Silence your tongue! <sighs> mm-hmm. It's late, so silence your tongue a bit. Okay? Don't want to blow your cover now. Her Highness attracts much attention, including those of your ilk. 
Outwards, it may be best for royalty to be cordial with commoners, but such friendliness makes her vulnerable. You know you're not gonna change her by being the uptight one, right? The issue lies in the fact that no one other than me cares to remonstrate her. Listen, you've been through a lot, all right? You gotta get some rest. Her Highness said she could not sleep, so she went walking. I must be prepared to aid her should anything unfortunate happen. I see. You're very diligent. It is my sworn duty as a king's guard. Now go sleep instead of loitering about like some laggard. You bother me. Yeah, that's real nice. Damn, man. You don't have to be so ruthless. Is something wrong? Trouble sleeping? Yeah, yeah, a little. I've been taking walks till I get tired. My apologies. I should not be burdening you with our troubles. Hey, I'm the one who said we should join up. I would have never been able to take care of food and lodging by myself. So don't be shy. Let me help you too. <laughs> well, if you insist on it then. Had a girl. We don't need more than one negative Nelly around, and Albert's got us covered there. I am the reason he remains so troubled. Please try not to think ill of him. No, no, no. I know. I know. I guess he's, uh, been through a lot, right? All those worries had turn anyone's smile upside down. Do you feel no need to inquire to fill in said details? Where we are is within the kingdom. And Albert's always wary of the Empire. The princess of said kingdom is sneaking around looking for a banished wise man. I can imagine said details. There's bound to be bumps in the road ahead. Let's at least enjoy the quiet while we can, princess. Might I, then, ask something of you? Sure, name it. Could you refrain from calling me by my royal title and use only my name? I gotta think that's gonna make Albert a little mad. Yes, well, we are undercover, and this would make things enjoyable for me. Do you agree, Ray? Yep, gotcha. Excellent. Now, with that off my chest, I do believe I shall return and rest. You would do well to do the same. You got it. Good night, Leticia. Yes. Have a good night, Ray. Alrighty, let's head back to the inn. Oh, and hey, do you think I could keep using this weapon? Of course. Consider it yours. There is also a merchant within the village. Shall we take a look tomorrow? Sounds good. Gotta be ready for anything around here. Alright, I think I'm finally getting tired. Guess I will head back. Anyone home? It's been a while since I got a good night's rest. 